it's going. All right, I am super excited to do another episode of the Friday Flash, and I am bringing my friend Kendra to all of you. Kendra, welcome to the uh, the show, sort so to speak. Thank you. Yeah, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, good, I'm actually good, good. in my store today, and I'm rearranging, which is fun because it's creative and it's new and it's fresh, and so I'm getting my creative juices going. Well, let's in a talk physical about that. way. Let's talk about yeah. it. So you're in the store. Tell us about your store. Tell us who you are and tell us about your store. We'd love to hear, uh, let the Raleigh community know who you are. Absolutely. So um, my name is Kendra Leonard. I own The Art of Style. It's a clothing store for men and women. And we basically, I will say help people find themselves is what I like to use to say, but like help build people's confidence. Um, I think that we have an ability to help people express themselves through clothing. Like that's what we believe clothing is. And so we very much are lovers of everyone. Um, and so if you're human, we like you. Um, please come in and let us uh, help steer you in the right direction. Uh, we realized um, throughout this process, I've been in retail now for 25 years, that you know a lot of people don't know how to shop. And so we love to shop. We love to shop for people. Thank you. Um, and so we just want to make it easy and fun. Like we really enjoy this. This is definitely a talent of mine um, to love on humans and to make people look and feel good about themselves. And really it's about building like self-esteem and confidence, but just making sure that, you know, and it doesn't have to be hard. It's not challenging. You know, everyone puts on a shirt and pair of pants every day kind of thing. Like you got to put something on your body. So put good stuff on your body that make you look good and feel good, not in a materialistic sense or an arrogant sense or anything like that. Um, you know, but um, that you feel good and, and that you're expressing yourself and, you know, sometimes, and it should come from the inside out, but sometimes when you're feeling bad on the inside, like I had a really bad day this week. Um, and so I dressed up like to help me feel better about myself. And so sometimes it can pull it out of you. And the other thing that it does is um, like the number one piece of feedback that we get from our clients is that they always get complimented in our clothes. And I always say like, don't let it go to your head because vain people suck. <laughs> but just tell them where you got it to like keep us in business and we'll keep keep you looking good. Um, but that's, you know, and then when, then when that happens, like, A, it's like a conversation starter and it gets like strangers to compliment you. You know, you know, I get people yelling at me across the street sometimes. They're like, I love your outfit. Um, and so it just, it makes you feel good, you know? And so like, who doesn't need to feel good these days? And, and I personally, you know, I've heard a lot of people during this time, like, I can't wait to dress again. And I'm like, oh my God, does that mean you're going to like, we're going to start dressing again as a, as a world. Cause you know, like, I think, you know, we kind of have lost a little bit of that. Um, and I think that like, again, you're representing yourself and you're presenting yourself to the world. And I think that you should do that every day, like, you know, with, um, intention and, yeah. and and with love and so just trying to help people with that when they come in here and then how they can you know take these things and, and wear them in their lifestyle and enjoy their lifestyle um in a way that helps them feel uh better about themselves help them yeah. helps them feel productive as humans all yeah. that good stuff i i love that and i've probably I, I hate to say when this happened you actually probably know so um i'm gonna embarrass myself with how little i shop but my favorite pair of boots came from your store um a while ago and uh my favorite pair of pants and i typically overwear things and so um, i'm not wearing them at the moment but um i got them from your place and so i, I love them oh. i still have them i don't Good. turn over clothes as probably quickly as i should the, the point of my store is like clean classic timeless but modern edgy and so these pieces are meant to last you a lifetime like they should i mean obviously if you wear them every day you might be wearing them out <laughs> Uh, which is good, but I mean, the whole purpose of clothing is like you're supposed to be rotating it. Same thing with shoes. Um, but no, I mean, it's it's not that you have to have a ton of it. I'm all about the minimalism movement that's happening, like clearing out your stuff, um, but just making better buying decisions. Um, and even if it's five dollars, don't waste those five dollars just because it's a five dollar whatever. If it doesn't look good, if it doesn't make you feel like I want people to like rip open the curtain when they come out of my fitting room and be like, ah, oh, here I am. Yes. Um, and I feel good about myself. Like that's what I want every day of your life. Um, and Love again, it. like we can teach people how to do it, make it, and, and then you should have these pieces for forever, which is why you spend, you know, your money on good quality pieces so they last. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I know some things have likely changed since the beginning of this, uh, whole coronavirus pandemic, but before this happened, what were you most excited about in your business? I mean, I think... <laughs> I mean, my, my passion is people and clothing, like, and I love to travel. Um, so obviously I'm not going anywhere right now, but I, I, I mean, I'm always excited about people. I love, um, meeting new people. I love helping people. Like when I was a little girl, I just want when I, you know, the question of like, what do you want to do when you grow up? I just want to make people smile and help them. 
Um, and so I love people and it's, and it's a journey, right? We're all at different places at different times, at different ages in our life and things that are going on. Like I'm a 41 year old mother of almost a 21 year old. She's going off to England, hopefully in the fall to study abroad. And, you know, like, but just cause I'm 41 doesn't mean every other 41 is having the same thing, you know, like you have a young one. Yeah, um, exactly. You, two young two, ones. No. You do have two young ones. Yeah. But I'm only 25. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> Um, 45. But, like, <laughs> but they, we're all in different phases and that's stages. Right. And so like everyone is different. And that's the beauty. Like the, part of the art of style is two different people can wear the same thing and wear it totally differently. And that's yeah. the beauty of clothing. It's, it, it's an expression of your personality. Yeah. Um, so I'm most excited about people. I'm most excited. Um, I know you asked me about before, but like, honestly, like right now, I just want some hugs. I'm used to operating <laughs> at like 25 to 50 hugs a day and I'm not yeah. getting my quota at all. Okay. Um, yeah. But um, I'm ex I was excited um, this year because we came up with a concierge program that's new for us and um, really just trying to meet our clients where they're at and serve them in a different way. Like we've been working on, you know, reshaping the way that people think about um, clothing and shopping and um, just helping people navigate those waters. Um, okay. So. I love that. Okay, great. And um, did you say exactly where your store is located? I can't remember if you said that. I don't know that I did. We are at 21 West Target Street. We're in downtown Raleigh. Um, we're right next to Raleigh Raw. So for all you folks to go get some juices and drinks and pokes, come on over here. We're right next door. That's we're a good pretty much. Right there. It's a great. Well, yeah, we're right the there. best neighbors ever. Very you do. fortunate. Yeah, my all all my people hang out right there on that block. So so I'm glad we're chatting today. Um, a cool block. It is a cool block. Are you ready for a couple rapid fire questions? Sure. Okay. So you haven't been prepped at all. So uh, wine or beer? Wine. Okay. Uh, what's your superpower? Love. Ooh, that's a good one. Introvert or extrovert? I'm an extrovert, um, but I do have introverted qualities for sure. Yeah. But I'm definitely yeah. an extrovert. I don't. I don't think we're either or all the time, right? You know, kind of this. Yeah. Swimming. I need lots of alone time. Yeah. Um, like I, my energy, I. I get fueled by people and their energy and that's what like fills my heart levels up. Um, but then I'm depleted by the end of the day cause I give, I'm a giver. So I just like give, give, give. Same. And so I need, I need a lot of alone time to like recharge my batteries. Yeah. I feel you. We're on the same page here. Um, tell me a silver lining you found through these last four weeks, six weeks. Um, I believe that this time in a weird way is a gift. And I think that, the silver lining for me is just that we're all in this together and that I, I hope that as a community of people, which I definitely feel it in Raleigh, but like I'm hoping throughout the world that there will be a lot of compassion and a lot of slowing down and a lot of letting go and releasing right now because we don't have any control and we never really have on anything. And so we always try to like control. I'm, I'm a control freak. <laughs> um, we don't, we don't have any control. And so just learning to let go learning to maybe slow down, um, which is also very challenging for me to do because I'm usually 100 miles an hour in heels and um, really just sitting back and actually like relaxing. Like we've created this crazy society that we've lived in and it's, I don't know that it's sustainable. Like a lot of us are stressed and, and unhealthy and, um, and, and mentally, you know, challenged and, and having anxiety and depression and all these things. And um, so I think that the silver lining I hope is that people know that they're not alone and that we'll get through it and that we'll come out better and stronger and more creative on the other side. That's a great silver lining. That's a great silver lining. Um, tell me four things you love about Raleigh. Only four. That's going to be hard because I know you got about a million, but tell me four. People. Places. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the weather. Yeah, good one. We get all four seasons in one week, you know, um, right. and people and food. Food. Oh, good. Those are good. So you covered all the okay. things, but by, by using just go. nouns in general, you covered all the things. <laughs> um, let's see place. here. Um, what impact do you want your business to have on the downtown Raleigh community? Well, I hope that we have a positive impact on our community in downtown Raleigh um, by promoting healthy lifestyle um, and fun uh, lifestyle, active, um, 
that we celebrate the differences in people. Um, it's funny because I, I just recently, for the first time, claimed my city. I feel like a lot of people have been like, you know, where are you from? And I always said Aurora, Illinois, and that's oh. where I'm from. And I was born there, but I left when I was five. And I've been here for 30, now six years. And I recently, it just like fell out of my mouth, like Raleigh's my home. That's where I'm from. And I was like, oh my, and I caught myself. I was like, oh my God, I've never said that before. <laughs> because I've always identified with Aurora because I'm a cheese ball, you know, it's Wayne's World is yeah. from there. And, uh, but then I was like, you know what? I think that it came out of my mouth because I think I'm finally ready to claim the city as my city because I'm, I want to address the city. Like that's what I'm here to do. That's one of the many things that I'm here to do oh, is dress the city. Yeah. So I hope that I'm bringing a fresh perspective of celebrating individuality through clothing to the city. That's a great one. Dress the city. I love it. Um, okay, my last question. And th th this is probably the hardest question I ask, especially because I have such really, I think, cool people on here. And um, it's one I really want you to, if you're okay with it, to, to be honest. But with you and your oh, business, we want to, I want to help support you and I want people to support you. And so I want to know, like, what is it you need right now? What does your business need right now? How can the Raleigh community rally together and help support you? Um, I mean, I think if it's your style, if we carry your style of clothes um, and you like that style, then please shop and buy. Um, that, that would definitely help me out a lot. Um, I know that a lot of people aren't shopping, but you know, if you do want to check it out um, and see if it, um, we uh, set up style appointments. Um, if you want to set up an appointment with me, I just had someone yesterday that's never, we met at like a dinner one time years ago and she'd never been in and we set up something. So setting up appointments would be really lovely. And um, for me, again, it's all about the individual. So we'll just, you know, have 30 seconds of chat, get to know each other kind of thing so I can serve you. And then I'll literally, even before, you know, um, you know, um, you call pulling things for you, just getting a little tidbit of information because I need to know about your personality and style to be able to serve you better. Um, so making appointments, shopping on the website. Um, I mean, if you got a plethora of money out there and want to donate, we definitely have a GoFundMe campaign. Um, and um, just like spread the love. And, and honestly, lastly, for me, please just be your individual self and try to not conform to what everyone else is doing or wearing or thinking or saying like we are all individuals. And I think that our gift back to this world is really being ourselves um, and being and our, our, our authentic selves. Um, and that's what we're here to help celebrate is, is your individualism. And so um, just be yourself and don't, don't dress like everybody else, please. Um, so that is a, that's thank, a good request. That's a good request and we can keep that going. So I really appreciate you being on the, the Friday Flash with me and telling us a bit about you and your business. And um, I'm hopeful we can help spread the word and get some more people and some more eyeballs on everything you've got going on and, and help you address the city because I think that's a great mission. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate it. All right. Well, thanks for being here and I will talk with you soon. Okay. Have a great day. Thanks.